Hi, I'm Chris. Today I will show you how you can place components and move objects efficiently. Let's start right away. So if you go to the public library, the public models, the KukaSim library, and you go here to the tutorials section 20 cell building and then here the component and you open this collapsed window you can actually find this uh, component basic cell which is our ready to educate cell and by double clicking on it it will generate in the origin of our simulation and now we want to add three things so first of all is the robot so if I drag and drop it into my simulation world, it will generate there where I dropped it. This is the first way to place a component in your simulation. And then once it generated, it's usually in this manipulation mode P and P. We don't want to have this plug and play right now. We want to move it around. So as soon as I click on this manipulation mode move, there will be this coordinate system appearing where I now can actually move the robot according to these arrows in Y, in X and in Z. And you can see there is this line, this dotted line beside it. And if I go with my mouse, if I hover over it, it will actually give me the option to select specific distances in the world. And on the right side, you will see it jumps exactly the same amount of millimeters that I select here. This goes also for the angles. So for example, if I take the A angle and drag it around, it will change the angle, but I can also set this specific angles that are displayed here, or I can turn it in the way that I want. And if I want to reset it, I just click here on the A, C, and it will set the robot back Now we want to place it actually here on the table, so now we could either try to drag and drop it around until we maybe find the right spot, or there's a second way is actually to grab this pink circle here, and by dragging and dropping this around, I can position the robot somewhere. So there's another way, which is the snap function. If I click on it, I have three modes where I, that I will show you right now. So the first one is the one point method. Um, you can set different settings. We are going to start with only set the position, but you could also just set the orientation or do both. And now you have also a snap type where you can actually choose from different things that we want to snap on. So maybe the origin of this ready to educate cell or a specific frame or maybe also just an edge or a face and this is what we're going to use right now but if i go here in the middle of our um, hole in the table and if i zoom closer we have this one little hole where the robot can be mounted on and if i press shift and hold shift it will let me choose the center of the circle and thereby click on it and now you can see that the robot is actually well placed, but still it's not fitting exactly into this uh, recutted hole. So I will now turn the robot until it looks fine. And this should be at about 60 degrees. You can also enter the 60 degrees here. And but then will fit into this uh, hole quite well. Very nice. The first object is positioned. Now we will proceed with this magazine. So again, I will click on it and drag and drop it here into my simulation world. And now again, use the snap function and this two point method. And now I want to place it here on the left side of this table. And again, I select the first point and now I select the second point and it will place this component in the midpoint of these two pre-selected points and just place it quite well. The last option that we have with snap is actually the one that I will show you with the table. So again, I put it into the simulation and go to the snap. And now I can actually set the three point arc center. 
and if I now select three points, it will put it into the um, yeah, center of the circle that the three points would present. So the first one will be this one, the second one will be this one, and the third one is that one. But you can see that it's not exactly on top of these little holes. So now I can actually move it around, I drag and drop it a few centimeters back into the right position. And then you have everything in the right position. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more interesting videos about KUKA simulation world, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Industrial Intelligence.